so hungry. There's one. Kitty, kitty, kitty. We're in Africa right now, getting ready for J Mickey's Jam and Jungle Parade. It's going to come right by us in a few minutes. Go around Discovery Island and come right back. This is the only place where you'll be able to see a parade go by twice. Another good tip is, if people have left after the first time the parade's gone by in Africa, grab a place because it's going to be coming again, and you can see it with relatively short lines. time we were here. New Year's? New Year's, that's right. Because we came here. To we relive our honeymoon. That's right. <laughs> In Morocco. Our favorite portion of Epcot is the World Showcase because it is kind of a leisure experience where you can get some cultural education. Another reason is because you can actually purchase items that are imported from those countries that are represented. All right, let's see if we can get a fast. Hi. Hi. We're looking for a fez that will fit me. No, we'll, we'll warn you. We actually did go to the to fez in Morocco and couldn't find we one. Couldn't find one. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you help us out here? Yeah. You. What do you think? <laughs> huh? There's probably one that fits your head. What do you think, Rachel? I think it's great. <laughs> we found a fez that could fit my husband's head. <laughs> and we also found our tea set down to the cup. The only other place we knew had it was in the real Morocco in Africa. So that was actually a great thing to find because if we break them, now we know that we can get a replacement. have children and you can see through their eyes the fun that they can have and the memories you can create with them ones that you want to live over and over again you get home and you just can't wait to plan your next vacation I spend a lot of time keeping up on what's going on here at the world we make a lot of trips down here it's my 25th, time this world. <laughs> 25th? it's my 125th <laughs> once we finished up at Magic Kingdom it was time to start heading over to Fort Wilderness for the Hoopty Doo review there's a boat that runs uh, straight there from the Magic Kingdom. It's a nice relaxing ride and it takes you straight to Pioneer Hall. Fort Wilderness is a great place for the kids. They have tons of recreational activities. They can run around, take a break. Just a nice break from the hustle and bustle of the parks. It's a great dinner show. Hey, you're not doing what you're supposed to do it at the hoop de doo <laughs> So, Connor, here's your bed. Hey, you guys, we're all here together, huh? All across the country, sitting down here. <laughs> nothing like a Murphy family get together. <laughs> yeah, nothing like absolutely nothing. Nobody else, that's right. Not only is the food great, but the show is so entertaining for the kids. They love to sing and dance. They love to play the washboard. They love to twirl their napkins in the air and stomp and clap. And just it's just fun for the whole family. If you'd like to do the Who Can Do review, you can make your reservations up to two years in advance. Uh, especially during peak season, it's always good to have a priority seating. at the Polynesian is a great place to have dinner here at Disney. If you sit near the window, you get this gorgeous view of the castle. Look at you can see the castle. The food is incredible. They just bring out these skewers of meat and they do these wontons and rice and, and string beans. These are Sherman vegetable wontons. It's a green beans with 
Kids do coconut races with brooms. Even adults can participate. It's a great way to, I think, refresh yourself before you head back for the night activities. <laughs> At night, too, you can see the fireworks in the kingdom. I know. We'll have to plan that for the next time when we come to come at 10 o'clock and watch the fireworks. They dim the lights and they play the music from the park. <laughs> All right, ready? Ready? We've seen everything that we wanted to see at Animal Kingdom. Our schedules work real well. And so we head back to our resort for dinner. We chose to go to Boma's at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. How are you? Yes, fine, how are you? You know, even the pickiest eaters can find something that they like here. And you can get little bits of everything and be like the animals out in the savannah grazing as we go through. Well, it's great that the kids can pick out what they want. Yeah. This is really good. Is that good? It's a family-friendly restaurant. At Boma's and a few other select restaurants at Disney World, you can find what's called the Junior Chef Program. Okay, Chef Teresha. We're going to do some strawberry today. A young child can go with one of the uh, major chefs of the restaurant and create for the family their own unique dessert. Chef in the house. the World Showcase, we worked up a big appetite, so we decided to head through the International Gateway and go to the Yatsman Steakhouse for some dinner. A lot of people don't know about the International Gateway. It's what I like to call Epcot's back door. Hi! We are the Levies. I think I put a, a priority seating under Rachel. Okay, if you'd like to follow me, right up there. You enjoy your meal. We'll I'll do. I'll check on you in just a few minutes. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, man, this is going to be great. Oh, wow. Not nah, eating carrots all day. It's <laughs> good. We deserve this. Oh, yeah. We deserve to treat ourselves, so. One of the reasons why we chose the Yachtsman Steakhouse is because we wanted a little bit of a different atmosphere, uh, a break away from Epcot, uh, but walking distance. But I think I'm really looking forward to What's that? this illumination. That's going to be beautiful. Yeah, I always get teary eyed. <laughs> have some sort of Disney association. So everywhere I look, Disney's staring back at me. It really is an emotional tie that you have to Disney that brings you back here so much. It's, it's the nostalgia of time spent down here with friends and with family. So much of my life ties back to Disney that it really is such a place that I, I almost call home. <laughs> 